everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, so good to be here with you. Today, what I wanna talk about and what I wanna show you is how to set up an arming switch on your FlySky radio. This should work for the i6 as well as the i6X, which I have right here in front of me. And the arming switch, in case you don't know, is a switch that will keep your airplane motor from spinning regardless of the throttle position right here. So this is incredibly important because this way you're going to avoid a lot of accidents if you just kind of bump the throttle and then all of a sudden your propeller starts spinning and things are getting chopped up and then suddenly you have a cat without a tail. Not saying that's happened before to me, but I have had some in, uh, instances where I did get surprised uh, by you know bumping the throttle a little bit. Didn't actually get hurt though. I guess you could say I got lucky. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up here on this radio right now. So let's get our little motor rig here. We have a receiver connected to an ESC, connected to a motor. And I have a little piece of tape here on the motor just to show you that it's spinning. And then we have our battery here. So what I'll do, we're already bound up to everything. I'll go ahead and turn on the transmitter, place all the switches in the up position. And then, well, I like to put them back down, but that's just how I am because I want the switch to be on is up that's how i like to have it set up so let's go ahead and turn this on very important note be sure to take off your propeller right now do not try to mess with any of this stuff with a propeller on your motor plug in our motor uh, to the battery so here we are in the transmitter i've got a new model set up and this is just everything's just from scratch from a new model i'm going to press and hold ok to go into the menu i'm going to scroll to the functions setup menu and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down here to assign switches. And then what we want is we want to use the OK button to scroll down to throttle hold. And you can assign the switch that you want. So in this case, I'm going to assign switch A. That's pretty much what I always use for arming, whatever it is. So we're gonna uh, select switch A, and then we're going to press and hold cancel and that's going to save it and exit. We can go back in and make sure that that is what we have. Side note, um, you probably need to turn on aux switches, aux channels and aux switches. Um, so in case this isn't working for you, that's probably what you have to do. So go into the menu there and then turn those on. Uh, I have a video about how to do that if you need to learn how to do that. And we know that it's uh, connected to this switch because when we flip this switch here, you can see it turns on and off. So right now the throttle hold is actually on with the switch in the down position, and that's fine. So what we wanna do is we wanna go out of here and then scroll down to throttle hold right there at the bottom. Press and hold, or press okay to get in there. And then what we wanna do right now is, see, so when we do, I see that when we do active, I don't know if you can actually you can see that. But uh, if you if you change this to on instead of off, your motor is just going to start up right away. So that's why you really need to take your propeller off. So what we actually want to do here is uh, what we want to do is change the value to zero. So change the value to zero, and then we can go back up here and turn it on. And then once you have it set to on and the value is set to zero, press and hold cancel. So now what this is gonna do is, what this means is that when this switch is down, which is the on position for the throttle hold, that means that it will hold the throttle at whatever percentage we set it. So here we set it to 0%. So what that means is I can move my throttle as much as I want, and until I flip this switch, nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna happen. So uh, one thing to keep in mind is that if you have this flipped down and you have your throttle up and then you flip this switch, your, your motor is just gonna start right up at whatever your throttle is set to. So do keep that in mind. So it's not a totally foolproof way of, uh, of keeping your throttle from going off. The, the most foolproof way is to unplug the battery and then you will never be surprised by your uh, motor accidentally starting up because if that did happen that would be really 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 surprising again you can set this up on whichever switch you like i always like to have it set up here because whenever i'm flying around i just keep my uh, index finger up here and i can disarm very quickly the other good thing about this disarming switch is that you can quickly shut off the motor regardless of the throttle setting so you could have the throttle setting all the way up 
flip this switch and then it will stop. So this could be good like if somebody else is flying and you know maybe they're not very good at flying yet and they're going to like crash into something or it's start, starting to get away from them. You can just you can, you know, have them on the sticks but then you can just flip that kill switch and the motor will stop. Well, there you go, folks. That's all there is to it, to setting up an arming switch or a kill switch on the FlySky FSI-6X, and hopefully this will keep you safer out there and keep you from getting surprised by that throttle. I highly recommend that you set up this feature, whether it's an airplane or a quadcopter that you're using. If you are gonna do this with a quadcopter, um, that is gonna be set up in beta flight, typically. I guess you could still set it up in this one, but I don't really see why you would do that. And as always, if you have any questions about this or comments about maybe something that has worked well for you or hasn't worked well for you, leave me a comment down below and uh, I or someone else may be able to help you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you are already subscribed. Uh, I appreciate you liking this video and, and all the other videos and I just appreciate your time and I will see you again very soon.